Hi guys, Sam from Memphis Makes. So I have just had one of the most surprising deliveries that I really wasn't expecting. So it's Tuesday, the 5th of April, and I have dropped the children to school and it's just a normal morning. I'm still trying to get over this, you know, nastiness that I've had over the past week or so. And I thought I'm going to take it easy because I've got my work trial tomorrow to see if I can secure myself the job. And there's a big knock on the door and I'm thinking, well, I'm not expecting anything. I open the door and there's a delivery driver there with two massive boxes in his arms. And I'm thinking, well, I have ordered stuff, but it's not due to arrive. So it can't be that. And then he said, I've got two boxes for Sam. So I said, well, yes, I'm Sam. And he said, they've come all the way from America. And even he was a little bit gobsmacked. So I'm like, really? Okay, thank you. So brought the boxes in. And all over the boxes is surprise, surprise, happy mail. And I'm like, well, I've already had the happy mail that I was expecting. I knew that um, Christina was sending me stuff and I've got it and I've done my video and I knew that Sabrina was sending me stuff and I've got it and I've received birthday presents and all sorts of wonderful happy mail in the past few weeks. I really wasn't expecting any more. And then, then I look at who sent it and it's only Laurie again all the way from Utah she only told me about the first lot, and if you remember that video, I broke down in tears. So goodness knows what's going to happen when I go through these, because they're even bigger than the other two boxes. <laughs> My goodness, Laurie, you are far too generous. What are you doing? I obviously emailed Laurie after the last lot of Happy Mail and thanked her profusely and said that she was over generous and she really did send way too much wishing her luck with her house move. And then, funnily enough, she emails back and says that her husband has actually secured a job locally and they're not moving at all. So I'm like, oh my goodness, so you sent all that stuff to downsize and then you're not even moving. And then I felt even more lucky to receive it because she could have kept it. But now she sent me another two boxes and I had no clue. Absolutely no clue, you sneaky, 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 lovely person. Wow, I have an absolute pounding headache, but I'm hoping that by going through this, it clears a little bit because I just don't know what to expect. Honestly, I said in my previous Happy Mail videos, I never expect to receive anything from you guys. All I want from you guys is to watch my videos and, you know, get my name out there for me. I don't expect gifts and I have been absolutely inundated over the last few weeks and now I've got more. Oh my goodness gracious, Laurie. I'm now going to call you my fairy godmother because nobody should spoil somebody this much. My goodness gracious. I'm never ever going to be able to repay you, sweetheart. What are you doing? Wow. Okay. And I've got to hold it together on this one. I can't cry again. I can't cry on video for you guys again. <laughs> So shall we take a look? Shall we see what other yumminess she's given me this time? I I just, I don't even know what to say. I am absolutely flabbergasted. Totally, totally unexpected. My mind has just gone. Pfft. So you'll have to excuse the of this video because I didn't know this was going to happen. Actually, I was literally just sat down thinking, Ooh, what what video can I put on today? I haven't really got a lot to show and not a lot's been happening because I've been sick. And then, ta-da, fairy godmother Laurie comes to the rescue. So thank you so much. My goodness me. So let's start with some of these right on the top. And I can already see rainbow. I can already see rainbow. Oh my goodness gracious. Do you know what? I'm running out of room, guys. I'm not complaining, not complaining. I will find room, I will. But wow, I have never had this much yarn in my entire life. And I just, well, wow. Okay, so we've got some mandala, Lion Brand mandala. Look at that one. 
The sun is going to be a bit of a pest and not show you accurately. But we've got some purples and some blues, a little bit of lemon yellow, pink, another lovely purple on the edge. So what's this one called? This is Liger. Like Tiger, but with an L. Oh, it's gorgeous. So if you're not familiar with the Lion brand, it is 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 590 yards or 540 meters, 100% acrylic, machine washable and dryable, made in Turkey. It is a lightweight three, which is a DK here in the UK. They recommend a 3.75 millimeter knitting needle or a five millimeter crochet hook. Colorway Liger. Wow, that is so gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, and I've got a second one, exactly the same. So I can make a slightly bigger project. So that's two of those. Thank you, Laurie. Ah. This is just incredible. Oh, wow. I've got a carrot cake. Ah. And it's a rainbow. Look at that. Wowie! So this is 80%. Oh, sorry, I can't even speak. 80% acrylic, 20% wool, 7.1 ounces or 200 grams, uh, 383 yards or 350 meters, hand wash, lay flat to dry. It's a medium four weight, which is an Aaron over here in the UK. Five millimeter knitting needles, five millimeter crochet hook rainbow sprinkles oh yummy 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 it's got a lovely scarf pattern included as well look at that oh laurie you are totally spoiling me what have i done to deserve this oh my goodness gracious what oh my god more ice yarns Okay, okay, Sam, calm down, calm down. <laughs> Total and utter surprise. I can't stop saying it. I really wasn't expecting it. I knew she was sending the first, but I had no clue about this. Absolutely no clue. Oh, look at these little yummers. Okay, so I'll try and hold one up to the camera. And we all know Sam's a bit rubbish at doing that, so bear with me. So it's this lovely creamy colour. And it's ice yarns and it says sail winter so it's 50 percent wool 50 percent acrylic in the color cream it's 50 gram ball and they are 70 meters and the color number is 57522 wow 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 it says you can wash up to 30 degrees celsius do not iron and that's about all I can see. So look at those itty bitty yummies. And she sent me eight of those. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know where I'm going to keep it all. I'm going to have to go and buy yet more totes. <laughs> Literally, my whole house is just going to be shelves and totes and totes and totes. This is absolutely incredible so like i said there's eight of those and that's the number five seven five two two thank you they're so cute oh no i don't have eight i have 16 she's actually sent me two packs two packs that's two packs of those goodness gracious me oh and there's more icy art oh these are pretty so there's two packs of four which is eight all together i'm just going to open one of the packets oh wow okay so what do we have these these are the risotto worsted Okay, so I'm going to try and find the information. Again, I'm going to try and show you. So it's these lovely mild greys and whites and blacks and purples. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? 
and I've got eight of these. So it's the Rosetto Worsted, 30% wool, 70% acrylic, 100 grams, 200 meters. They recommend a five millimeter knitting needle. It's a number four weight or an Aran over here. Let's just see if I can find some other bits and pieces. Wash up to 30 degrees, do not iron. So I would rec I reckon these ice yarns, they want you to wash on cool or warm and lay flat to dry. But look, and I've got eight of these. My camera really isn't doing it any justice. Wow. And it actually looks like a little bit of a roving style where it goes from thick to thin. Oh, how gorgeous. And I've got eight. I've got eight. I'm already in shock mode. I'm like, Whoa, <laughs> what's going on? So eight of those. Wow. Okay, what else have we got? Ooh, this looks interesting. I've got four of these. And I can see that they've got a big thing on it saying made in Turkey. Wash up to 30 degrees. Oh, the full band split on this one, but that's okay. I can take that. That's not a problem. Do not iron. Wash up to 30 degrees. Made in Turkey. This is ice yarns as well. It's one of these like fairy ones. This would make gorgeous trim on maybe a Christmas hat. Or even like one of these like snowy soft scarves. Oh, it is super soft. 100% microfiber, 200 grams, um, 100 meters, an 8 to 10 millimeter knitting needle. And this is a super bulky six, which is a super chunky here in the UK. Wow, do you know what? I've never used this type of yarn. Look, can you see? That's one strand. And it's got these lovely, super eyelashy, furry. And it is so very soft. Oh, that might even make a nice pillow. Oh, and I've got four of those. And it's called Lambkin. Very appropriate. Does remind me of a little lamb. And it's spring as well. How perfect. Wow. So I've got four of those. Four of those. And that's 58804 in white. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my goodness, the box hasn't even ended. Oh, there's another um, eight of those. So I've actually got 24 of these. Grab them all for you. 24. Wow. Now that's super lovely. Oh, if only I could knit, then I could do a lovely cabled sweater. I might have to save that for when I'm brave enough to learn to knit. I'm not making any promises though, guys, because, <laughs> wow. Okay, and one more yummy scrummy, and it is another rainbow sprinkles. So I got two of the rainbow sprinkles. Oh, happy Sam, happy Sam. Wowee. <sighs> wow. Okay, so that was the first box. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm going to have to try and put it back in the box. Okay, so just to recap, Karen Cakes, two. Lion Brown Mandala Liger, two. And then the Lambkin, four. And then the Rosetto Worsted Lilac, eight. How did you pack it? I can't even pack it properly now. And then those 24 of the winter sale. And that's just the first box, guys. 
Oh my goodness. Laurie, I'm going to be able to set up my own wool shop in a minute. My own yarn shop. This is craziness. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Second box. Here we come. Are we ready? Are we ready? Wow. I've got more Premier and I've got some sweet roll. Oh my goodness, look, look at those purples and greys and whites. They're gorgeous. So they're 100% acrylic. Pansy pop. I don't want to get them out of the plastic. Sorry, guys. And I know the sun's really not helping. Wow, pansy pop. They're a medium four, which is an Aran here. 5.5 millimetre knitting needle, 5.5 millimetre crochet hook, machine wash warm, tumble dry, do not iron, 245 yards or 224 metres, it's a 5 ounce or 140 gram ball. Wow, 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 made in Turkey, I think I told you everything. Three. Three of those. Wow. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, crumbs. Crumbs, crumbs, crumbs. Right, I've got another two. Ooh, I likey, I likey. So I've got some more Lion Brand, but these are the Mandala Baby. So I've got two of the Arundel. Aren't they gorgeous? Okay, so I'll show you that one and read off this one. So again, they're a lightweight number three or a DK over here. 3.75 millimeter knitting needle, five millimeter crochet hook. A machine washable and dryable. Do not iron, 100% acrylic, 5.3 ounces or 150 grams, 590 yards or 540 meters. Made in Turkey, and I've got two, and that's Arundel. Oh, that's a little bit of a better angle, seeing all the colors down here, look. Aren't they gorgeous? Laurie, and you sent me two. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <gasps> Rainbow and sparkle. Wow. Don't tear up. Don't tear up. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Take a breath. Okay, so we've got two Lion Brand Mandala Sparkle. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, and this is Serpent. Oh goodness gracious. Right, okay, so these are 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 328 yards or 300 meters, machine washable and dryable, 94% acrylic, 6% metallic polyester, lightweight number three, which is a DK, 3.75 millimeter knitting needles or five millimeter crochet hook, made in Turkey, serpent. Wow. Just look. Just look. Wow. And again, she's sending me yarns that I have never had, never used. Wow. Okay, and the box just keeps going and going and going. Oh, okay. Oh, this one reminds me of Winnie the Pooh because it's called Acre Woods. Oh, and this is so super pretty as well. It's like pastel baby rainbow look at that so this is the acre woods guys can you see that pale green in there as well 
again two of these aren't they gorgeous so these are the lion brand mandala baby again but this is the acre woods and it's a lightweight number three which is a dk 3.75 mil needle five mil crochet hook 5.3 ounces 150 grams 590 yards or 540 meters machine washable and dryable 100 percent acrylic made in turkey Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm literally like shaking and what's happening? <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, and it still keeps going. Haven't even got halfway through the box. Oh, okay. So I had two ligers in the first box. And I've got another two ligers in this box. So I've actually now got four of these. Awesome. Wow. So I've actually now got four of those. Oh, and you've given me even more choices of what to put in my lorry blanket. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what have we got here? got two of these got to try and open the plastic because um can't see all the details on the ball band bear with me guys bear with me i'm all a little bit juddery and a bit shaky i'm not actually um being very dexterous with my fingers <laughs> there we go okay then so what is this Oh, this is some cotton. Oh, Premier Hipster Cotton. I was watching um, Cinnamon Stitches talk about this. Wow. And look, if you look inside, there's greens, yellows, oranges, pinks, purples. Oh. Okay, Premier Hipster Cotton. Right, I'll show you this one and I'll read off this one. Keep it in camera, Sam. Come on, do your job. Okay, so this is called Rainbow Roller Skates. That's cool. I like that. Made in Turkey. Machine wash on warm, tumble dry. Um, You can iron it, although I won't. Lightweight number three, which is the DK here. Four millimeter knitting needle, five millimeter crochet hook. And it's got the Ecotex Standard 100, um, 229 yards or 210 metres, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams, 100% 100 cotton. And I've got two. Look at those. Wow, they are gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Oh. Might just have to make myself some rainbow washcloths, you know. But they look, they feel a bit too good for washcloths. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to make. I've now got so much yarn that I can't crochet quick enough. <laughs> and being sick recently as well, I haven't really done a lot of crocheting either. That's why I haven't really got a lot to show you. Oh, M, G. So that's two of those. Right, come on, Sam, pick up the case. What are these? What are these? What are these? Okay, they're slightly different colourways. Right, so this is more of the Puzzle Baby. She gave me some Puzzle Baby in her first lot of Happy Mail different colour though. I wonder if I've got, yeah, I've got it to hand. Hang on. So this was the first colour that she sent about a week or so ago or two weeks ago. So that was that one. Don't know how you tell colour. But anyway, she sent me that one and I had one of those and now I've got two of these and the colour is Six seven nine four three. Ooh, 
this is very neon. Look at the yellows and the pinks. The sun is really a pain in the bottom. This way. Here, look. Neon yellows, pinks, whites. Wow. So this again is the Ice Yarns Puzzle Baby. 100% acrylic. Um, 200 grams, 610 meters, three to four millimeter knitting needle. And it's a fine number two, which I think last time I said was a finger in. I never checked if that was right, but I think it's finger in. But don't quote me. It's a fine number two. I think we all know what a fine number two is. We're all good. Made in Turkey. Wash up to 30 degrees Celsius. Don't iron. But anything that I crochet, I always hand wash and lay flat to dry anyway. Oh my goodness, the glare of that sun. There we go. Look, and I've got two of that colour. And then I've got two of another colour as well, you know, just, just to absolutely blow my mind. So that was two of the 67943. And if you look at this bottom one, there's green in it as well, look. So I'm sure when I dig in that one, I'll find some green. Wow. Gorgeous. Okay. And then this one is colour 67947. And it's more Puzzle Baby. But I'm just going to get one out to show you the colour. If the sun behaves itself. Shouldn't moan really. Because here in England, we don't get an awful lot of sun. And it's not even like a nice sunny day. It's like really overcast and right in your face. <laughs> um, yeah, so this one's got like, let's hide it a little bit. There we go. So greens, whites, oranges, pinks, blues. Can we see? Oh, my goodness me. Oh, and I've just split the bag. Oopsie doopsie. I'll have to take that one up in a minute. I'm still not done, guys. I'm still not done. Wow, let's do these itty biddies. Let's do these itty biddies. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Ooh, okay. We've got a mixture in the house. Awesome. Um, okay, so I'm going to do three at a time because these are all little balls of cotton and I'm just going to get all of the same type together. So bear with, bear with. Okay, so I have got five. Oh, sun, really not helping my job today. Right, so we've got black. We've got white. We've got a lovely golden sunshiny yellow. And then this one's more of a cream. And then we've got a really pale rosy pink. And these are Rainbow 88 quality 100% cotton from Hobie. Oh. So if I actually hold up, there we go. You look at the yellow one. Um, so again, these are Ecotex Rainbow 88, 100% cotton, uh, 50 grams or 1.75 ounces, uh, 75 meters approximately, which is approximately 82 yards, 3.5 to 4 millimeter knitting needle, 3.5 to 4 millimeter crochet hook, lightweight number three, which is a DK here, uh, 40 degrees Celsius in a color wash, 95 degrees in a white wash. You can iron, do not tumble dry. Made with love in India. Wow. And this, so the pink is color 42. The yellow is colour 90. The cream is colour 02. The white is colour 01. And the black is colour 09. 
So that's five little balls of cotton from Hobie, the Rainbow 88. And then there's two itty bitty ice cottons here. And it's the Ice Yarn Pure Cotton in this lovely purple. And the label says 100% cotton, 50 grams, 80 meters, 4.5 millimeters knitting needles, uh, medium four weight, which is an Aran made in Turkey. I've got two of those. Those little cootie patooties. So that's those. And then I've got two. Okay, last two packs and it's two the same. And it's the Rosetto Worsted Light. And it's 63455. And it's this lovely burgundy, pink, white, mauled, twisted. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let's have a look. We've got eight of these. Yeah, it's the Rosetto Worsted, like I showed you earlier, the lilac-y ones. That's just, there we go. So it's 30% wool, 70% acrylic, 100 grams, 200 metres, 5 millimetre knitting needle, uh, medium number four, which is an Aran here. Made in Turkey. Uh, wash up to 30 degrees, do not iron. Wow, they're pretty as well. Awesome, so let's get rid of the sun glare, Sam. Get rid of the sun glare, there we go. So can you see the pinks and the burgundies and the greys and the whites? And you can see that it's roving because it goes thick to thin. And I've got eight. Wow, what a lot of excitement. Unexpected excitement on a Tuesday morning. Laurie, why are you spoiling me so much? Oh my goodness gracious. Right, quick recap as I put them back in the box. So those were the eight Rosetta Worsted in that colorway. Wow. I have like a mountain on my table. Puzzle Baby in that colour, two of. Puzzle Baby in that colour, two of. The two hipster cottons. Awesome. And then the five itty bitty. No, not five, seven. Seven itty bitty cottons. Those there. Right, and then all these beautiful, beautiful cakes. The two two extra ligers, because I've got two in the other box. And then the two acre woods. Wow. And then the two serpent sparkly ones oh sam get your grip there we go and then the two arundel as well and the sweet rolls the pansy pot three of those I don't really know what to say. Last time I cried, I am not going to cry this time. I have had a lot of you reach out and say that, that I do deserve it. That, you know, if people want to spoil you and give you lovely things, then, you know, just accept it and love it and start realising that a lot of people do like and, and respect me and, you know... Yeah, so rather than get upset about it and be disbelieving in it, I need to kind of embrace it a little bit more. Need to start believing in myself a little bit more, which I am. And it's not happy mail and presents that makes that happen. It helps, don't get me wrong. 
And like I said, I think anyone would be a liar if they said that they don't like receiving happy mail. It's just so incredibly amazing that you guys out there look at your yarn stashes and go, oh, Mount for Sam would love that. Oh, Mount for Sam would love that. And you chuck it in a box and you pay extortionate amounts of shipping, pay a fortune to get it over here to me, especially brands that I cannot easily get my hands on. Now, I could go on Lion Brand website, I could go on Ice, I could go on Mary Maxim or Premier. And actually, I did go on Premier's website on the weekend because I really want the fruit rolls, you know, the new fruit yarns that have come out. They are gorgeous. I will get them myself, though. Um, and I'm thinking that if I'm successful in this job trial tomorrow and I do get the job, I'm thinking of treating myself to the fruit fruit yarns um out of my first wage packet in my new job um just as a yeah you did it girl type thing um i could go on all those websites but the shipping to me because they're based over with you guys in the usa i can't really justify it for myself if i was buying for other people i wouldn't hesitate i don't mind spending all my money on other people i like to gift more than i like to receive um I obviously do like to receive as well. Who doesn't? Presents and happy mail and gorgeous rainbow, squishy heavenliness is always welcome. But I love nothing more than buying gifts for other people. And actually, I'm the type that has to stop myself from spoiling the surprise because I buy it. And I'm just so excited for you to know what I've got for you that I nearly blow the whistle every single time because <laughs> I just want to see your face. I want to see your reaction. Um... So yeah, little side note, Sabrina Melajuice, if you're watching this, I've bought you some birthday treats and goodies that I'm waiting to be delivered. And as soon as they're delivered to me, I'll get them shipped to you, my darling, for your birthday, because your birthday is coming up soon. So I have been birthday shopping for Sabrina. And see, I don't mind spending money on other people because I have, and I'm going to spend even more in postage. But I couldn't, I couldn't justify the, the fruit rolls for myself um at this time because obviously i need to get earning um i have no idea laurie where i'm going to store all of this because if i'm being completely 100 percent honest your two original boxes plus christina's box and now these two boxes are literally like still they're in their boxes just in my corner because i have nowhere to display at the moment I think I'm going to have to take a trip to Ikea and get another one of these doodads um, for all the gorgeous, gorgeous treats and presents and gifts that you are all so generous in sending to me. Totally unexpected. Was not expecting that to happen this morning. And of course, as soon as the, the delivery driver left, I'm like, right, grab camera, grab scissors. Do a, do a video. Everyone's going to want to see. So I hope you enjoyed me opening yet more Happy Mail. I, I still cannot put into words how truly, truly thankful I am to all of you. Um, not just the ones that send me presents. Even you guys who just continuously come back and watch my videos. You know, getting my watch hours, getting my likes, leaving comments for me. It all helps the algorithm and it all helps YouTube know that I'm here, I'm around you know, they should recommend me to people so that my figures can grow. Um, so you are just as important. Um, you are all equal to me. If you choose to send me happy mail out of the goodness of your heart and out of your own generosity, then I'm going to love you forever more. But I do not expect it. I do not ever, ever think to myself, oh, when am I next going to get happy mail? When someone else going to send me something? That is not who I am. I hope that I come across as somebody who is like, why are you sending me all this? Because that is really how I truly feel. I don't expect it. I don't expect it. Um, but the generosity, the kindness, the support, the love is just so overwhelming and I can never thank you all enough. So please do keep coming back and watching my videos. Do keep saying hi when you see me in the YouTube streets. Laurie, I know you don't want to uh, draw attention to yourself. And I know that you'd rather stay in the background. Um, but I know you will watch this. And even if you don't comment on the video, 
I know you'll see it and I will be emailing you, sweetheart, and thanking you again. Um, yeah, for someone who wants to remain in the background, you can't send me all this gorgeousness and not expect me to show the world and shout from the rooftops at how incredibly, incredibly thankful and appreciative I am of it. So, yeah, another two boxes, girl. What are you doing? What are you doing? And when I saw surprise, surprise, surprise all over it, I was just like, oh my goodness gracious. I am blown away, absolutely blown away, but I need to embrace it and I feel your love and I really, really want to show that that love is reciprocated tenfold back, my darling. Thank you so, so much. And thank you to the rest of you for coming over and watching. Um, yeah, my goodness gracious. Now you've given me even more choices for my Laurie blanket. I don't know what I'm going to do now. <laughs> kind of had a plan, but now I'm going to have to rethink. But that's fine. That's fine. And with the amount you've given me, I could probably make about 10 Laurie blankets. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, sweetheart. Laurie, you're an absolute gem. You are one of life's rare ones and I'm glad that I found you. Love you, darling. Right, guys, I'm going to go and try and find some room for all of this loveliness. I will see you um, around the YouTube streets on my videos, up on people's panels and um, yeah, any of you need me, give me a shout, drop me an email. I'm always around. Wish me luck for tomorrow. I really need this job. Um, and uh, I better go furniture shopping, shelf shopping. <laughs> anyway, guys, I love you loads. Stay safe, be kind, look after each other, have some lovely quality time with your loved ones and some lovely quality crafting time. I love you so, so much. Laurie, you little tinker, you. Love you loads. Bye, guys.